Okay, now in this video I'm going to show how we can add some coding into the clear survey button. That way all these checkboxes get cleared out and automatically the label will be updated with an, with another function that will be called once the labels, once these checkboxes are, are cleared out. So what we're going to do, go to your developers tab and select design mode. Go on and double click the clear survey button. The very first thing that we want to do is prompt the user and in programming what you're going to do is you want to know what the user inputs whether they click yes or no so in order to do that you have to sign assign it like a, a variable so we have question say clear equals and you're going to do a message box by doing msgbox and then do um, your open parentheses double quote and this is where you tell the user are you sure you want to clear the survey do a few spaces, do a double quote, and then do a comma. The ones that we're going to use is you're, with this option that comes up, the IntelliSense, you're going to go on and select VB, yes, no, and hit the tab button. And we're going to do the icon, the VB question icon. That should be somewhere in here, VB question. And then now this part as you can see in this option it's the title so we're just going to put question and what this portion is going to do so far if, if we were just to hit the command button right now in production mode it's going to give us this message box are you sure you want to clear the survey yes or no nothing's going to happen but let me show you what we're going to do now I'm going to put us back into design mode double click the clear survey button question clear if this value right here if the user is to click yes visual basic in the programming environment returns the number six and i guess just to show you i'm going to do this part message box question clear and i'm going to play the same code if i hit yes we get a six if i hit no we get a seven so that way we know what the user picks so this is what we're going to do. If question clear equals 7, which is no, then exit sub. All this means is that we won't do anything because the user clicked no. But if question clear equals 6, then, and then we're going to do an end if. So we're going to put code in here, which means all of this code that we put in here will be executed because the user clicked yes. And the code that we're going to put in here is clearing out all these checkboxes, which is going to use the code that we, in a way, the code we created earlier, but I'm going to copy it. So I'm going to do Q1A dot value equals false. And I'm going to do the same for all checkboxes for for question one. A, B, C, D, and E as false. This is all for question one. We need to do the same for question two. So for here, I'm going to change the one to a two. And then the same thing for question three. So all this is doing is setting them to false, which means they're, they won't be checked. Question one, option A, B, C, D, and E. Same thing for question two, A, B, C, D, and E. And question three, A, B, C, D, and E. So now let me show you how this is gonna work. Take us out of design mode, which now we're into production mode. I'm gonna select three, three, and three. If I hit clear survey, I'm gonna select no for clearing. Nothing happens. So I hit clear survey and hit yes all the checkboxes have been erased including the, the 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 threes i mean they've been unchecked so that concludes this portion of the, of the video but i'm going to briefly ex explain that we didn't do anything to this label yet because what we're going to do in the next video is we're going to explain and add the coding needed in order to get this label to calculate and the way that's going to work is at any time any checkbox is changed it automatically calls a procedure to calculate the code. So by us clicking clear survey and hitting um, yes, because it makes a change to the checkbox, it's automatically going to count. 
it's, it's going to do that calculating function which will populate this field as zeros or whatever value you have selected up here. So hang in there, we're almost done and pretty soon you'll have a complete customer satisfaction survey or checklist.